Have you bought a DJI Action 3 and you have focusing issues? Or you are considering maybe to purchasing one, but you're a little bit unsure of what's the situation? Today, I'll talk about mine. And for the impatient ones, my copy of the DJI Action 3 does not have focus issues. And with the latest firmware, the 01010540, it might have to improve something, but there was nothing to be really fixed. I have made a couple of videos about the Action 3 that may come right after or before this video, but there are quite a few videos complaining about the focusing issues of the Action 3, and rightfully so. But first, let's take a look at the setup. I'm pretty much in the same spot that I make most of my videos, but I'm much closer to the background. These action cameras, of course, have no shallowness when it comes to depth of field, so today you really can see what's behind me. And for reference, we're also recording this video with the Sony A7 IV, and I have the 16 to 35 as white as it gets, which is not as white as the action cameras, of course. All of them are here in touching distance. I am about half a meter away from the cameras, including the A7 IV and all the action cameras. But here I have the DJI Osmo Action, the very first one. I'm also recording with the DJI Action 2. And finally, we have the DJI Osmo Action 3. The main point of this video is to tell also that not all the units of the DJI Osmo Action 3, at least there is one, mine, that did not have focusing issues. Another one is to just make a small correction. These cameras do not have autofocusing issues because they do not have any autofocus. These cameras have a fixed lens with a fixed focus lens, which is really, really wide with a very small sensor, which means that most things should be in focus after a certain distance. And according to the specification, the Action 2 and the Action 3 should be in focus between 30 centimeters and infinity. Again, right now I'm about 40 to 50 centimeters it's actually about between 50 and 60 centimeters from the camera, and I don't know what you think about the sharpness or lack thereof, but to me the Action 3 looks just fine. Also, because I have them on top of a tripod, I disabled any kind of stabilization. All of the three cameras, the Osmo Action, Action 2, Action 3, all of them at the moment are shooting at 4K, 25p, with the standard de-warp field of view, with no stabilization, and exposing manually. I have the shutter at 1 over 50, and the ISO at 200 at all of them, and I'm shooting with this cine light with all of them. Just for fun, the A7 IV is at the moment at 1 over 50, as always, ISO is at 800, and I'm shooting at f4, which is the maximum aperture at, of this lens. So now just for you to compare the three of them, again, I'm standing about 50 centimeters away from the cameras, and I'm gonna put they side by side, so you can see now the Osmo Action, you can see now the Action 2, you can see now the Action 3, and actually all this time you could see the three of them. And now let's show exactly the same, but with the most extreme stabilization enabled for all of them, which we're going to be rock steady for the Osmo Action, and then horizon balancing for the Action 2 and Action 3 in 4K. So this is the DJI Osmo Action with rock steady, the Action 2 with horizon balancing, and the Osmo Action 3 with horizon balancing. The stabilization doesn't matter at the moment because they are on a tripod, but I wanted to both test and show you whether there is any quality difference between this 4K25 if using horizon balancing or not. And let's remember that stabilization works better with higher frame rates and fast shutter speeds because it's doing um, some digital magic. And right now we are just at 25p and just at 1 over 50, so I don't know if this is going to be affecting the image quality. The reason that it might not, it's because we are at the moment on a tripod and this is standing and I'm trying to keep my face as still as I can, so no magic is required for that. But my hands are doing things and maybe it's doing funky things with it. But anyway, you got that also. And I did upgrade the firmware of the DJI Action 3, the Osmo Action 3, to the newer one, the 01010540, that was supposed to help with the focusing issues. A few people have been making some videos saying that it's not going to help at all, it's just going to do some extra sharpening and that would not be helpful. I agree that if your unit does have focusing issues, 
sharpening it, it will not be helpful and it will not look good. They might have fixed a few other things that might help actually with the cameras like this one that actually works. The reason that I do know this camera does not have focusing issues is because I had focusing issues with the DJI Action 2, which at this moment still, even if I did get a new unit, which looks a lot better than the previous one, to me it looked less sharp than the Action 3, even though they should be sharing the same camera module, so somebody explain that to me. But as I said, I had actual issues with the DJI Action 2. I had to send it back to DJI, that they sent me a replacement. They replaced the lens module, which meant the whole camera module, and the new one is a lot better. And with the Action 3, the image is not out of focus. And even if you tell me that the GoPro 11 has much better image quality than this, and I'm gonna believe you and take your word for it, the question for me personally is, is this good enough? And yes, for me, the image quality and sharpness of the DJI Action 3 is definitely good enough for my needs. And because I like so much the usability, the form factor, the interchangeable and easily so lens cover, um, interchangeable batteries, and then also the really, really good, in my opinion, magnetic mount under it, I will definitely keep my Action 3 and not even consider the GoPro 11. And just to mention it, this video is not sponsored by anyone. All these cameras are mine. Uh, if DJ wants to send me a drone, I'll be happy about it and then I'll mention it. But this video isn't sponsored and I hope that that adds a little bit more value. But now for your opinion, from this control test with no stabilization, full manual control on the exposure, we're properly lit by a proper light. Uh, this is enough for comparison because this is a full frame camera. So let's go back to the action cameras. Which of the three do you think that looks the best? with me standing at 50 centimeters from it. What do you think about the older, still lovely DJI Osmo Action? How about the awkward, yet kind of cool new form factor that maybe didn't take off quite much, but I still like it for some use cases, DJI Action 2. And finally, the infamous at this point because of its focusing issues, even though some of us don't have them, DJI Osmo Action 3. Which of the three did you like the most and would any of them be good enough for you? And still finally a question for you. Did you buy a DJI Action 3? And if you did, did you get a good copy or one of the ones that have clearly a focus issue and a faulty lens? And in the case that you got one of the faulty copies, are you gonna just return it or will you try to get a replacement? I'm curious. And maybe let's end the video in the Sony A7 IV Hopefully you liked it and got something from it. If you did, please like and subscribe. And we're gonna see you soon for some more content.